Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7 Enemies of Israel, Come Forth December 31st, 2009 From God the Father, a letter given to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord God of Israel, The time has come when I shall rise up and spare my people. Yea, I shall stretch out my hand and deliver them, even all of them. Yes, the believer and the wicked alike shall be spared, even all who dwell in my land, the land which I had promised to Abraham and have given to the seed of Jacob forever. Yet let it be known and let the people understand. For my own name's sake shall I perform this, for it is time to reveal my hand to the peoples of the earth. It is time for the name of the Lord your God to be made known. For I shall cause my name to resound in all the earth. Behold, it shall resound loudly. It shall sound, and my power shall be made fully known. Then shall you know, even as it is written, and I myself had spoken it, that I am the Lord. And I have dealt with you for my own name's sake, and not according to your wicked ways, nor according to your corrupt doings, O house of Israel, says the Lord God. Therefore, let my people bow down and give thanks, and let the atheist consider and weep for his soul. Let his intellect fail him, and his heart melt like wax before the fire. And let all my enemies fear. Let all in the earth Tremble! For behold, I am standing. I am coming down to take a stand, and my anger has come up into my face. Behold, the enemies of Israel are gathered together. Evil thoughts have entered their hearts. Lo, I have hardened them for my purpose, saying, Come forth, gather together, come swiftly. Yes, all you wicked nations, come. Make a pact and come forth. You and your armies with you. Yes, come against the land I had given to my people. Come quickly to destroy and take your spoil. For the time has come, and I am eager to perform my will. Stand fast in battle array. Cover the land like a shadow and take aim. For you shall be cut down. I shall cut you down as blighted wheat before the scythe, as a diseased sheaf left standing in the open field, set as stubble before the fire, says the Lord. Behold, I shall make of you a spectacle, and you shall be for a sign to all nations. Even the sun shall be covered, and you and all your company shall be struck by my own hand. Yes, I shall strike you down and fill your hearts with madness. For I am the Lord, the God who reigns in Israel, the one and only true God, creator of heaven and earth, Yahuwah.